Ladies and gentlemen, with seven minutes to post, here's the field for the third. Number one is Jiffy Boy and driver Dave McGee. Number two, Majestic Wolf, Laverne Haas, Tether Drives. Number three, Sean D. W. and Walter Paisley. Number four is Prairie Inky and Monroe Duncan. Number five is eight by ten, Lenny D'Amelio. Number six is Sovereign Storm, Daryl Howard. Number seven, Snowberry, Dan Knox. And number eight is Flying Column, Merv Chop in the Sulky. That's the field. Six minutes. They've reached the spring gate. The gate is running. Tab of the turn. And here they come. And pacing there goes Sean D.W. right for the lead. Joined on the outside, Sovereign Storm and Jippy Boy. Into the turn they race and Sean D.W. Now takes command by two lengths, it's Jippy Boy. In second, two lengths, Perry Inky. In third, two lengths, Sovereign Storm. Now drops in fourth by three lengths, Majestic Wolf. Followed by eight by ten. It's no very flying column training. Here comes Jippy Boy. Moving out of second to challenge and pick up the pace. As they drive by the quarter. They've hit the first quarter. Twenty-nine and two on up front. It's Sean D.W. with the lead on the reel, but Prairie Inky slips on through in the second. It's Jippy Boy, now parked first over in the third. It's Sovereign Storm, followed by Majestic Wolf. Eight by ten, followed now by Snowberry and Flying Column. As they approach the half-mile marker, it's Sean D.W. Jippy Boy is on the outside trying to come on second. Prairie Inky is right there in third. It's Sovereign Storm looking for racing room Majestic Wolf. A minute and two. Now they drive into the clubhouse turn. Your leader, Sean D.W. Sprints clear again. On the inside, Prairie Inky, second. Jippy Boy is losing ground in third. Followed by Sovereign Star, Majestic Wolf, and eight by ten. Now they curve into the back stretch. It's Sean D.W. Prairie Inky explodes between horses. On the outside, it's Majestic Wolf, and eight by ten. Midway up the back stretch. It's Sean D.W. Prairie Inky is alongside, but here comes Snowberry. Three wide and a third, followed on the inside by Sovereign Storm. Now they drive into the far turn, and Snowberry is on the outside now to take command. Between horses, Prairie Inky is there. It's Sean D.W. On the outside, it's eight by ten. Here they come, turning far home, and Snowberry now to take command. On the inside, it's Prairie Inky, followed now by Majestic Wolf. It's Snowberry with the lead. It's Snowberry all alone at the wire. Number seven, Snowberry was first. A photo for second. Please hold all tickets. Turning to the winner's circle, Seven Snowberry. Snowberry is owned by Richard Richmond of Kiwane, Illinois. Trained by Ed Haldeman and driven to victory by Dan Knott. And the third race is the General Sherman Council Knights of Columbus Purse and the Transportation Shrine Club of Chicago. And with this victory, Snowberry has reached the $200,000 plus in lifetime earnings.
Number five, eight by ten was second. Number two, Majestic Wolf finished third. And number eight, Flying Column was fourth. That is official two, three, and one theft. Here is the third race rundown, eight, three, seven, five, two, six, one, four on the bottom. The seven, five Perfecta returns, one hundred one dollars even, one oh one even, seven, five Perfecta. And the trifecta of seven, five, two returns two hundred sixty nine dollars even.